Hello again. This is going to be the Presha Reprap Build Part 6 when we're going to be assembling the Y axis. And I already installed the 18 inch threaded rod here. And then I'll get that placed more s precisely later. And I installed the two 16 inch smooth rods. And then I'm going to attach. Uh, these two U-clamps on both sides of this threaded rod to now. And then we're gonna uh, get this as parallel as, po as possible with my bottom build plate. So first we're gonna put uh, the bolt, bolts, I mean nut washer and then the U-clamp on both sides, then another washer and nut. Alright, now we're going to try to get everything parallel as much as possible to my left side of my pressure. So we'll be measuring from washer to washer and getting it to uh, 32 millimeters. And then from smooth rod to smooth rod we'll be using this, which is 140 millimeters long. And to try to get this as parallel as possible. And then we'll use my PLA bushings and glue our bottom build plate on. Alright, so now we're going to put on our PLA bushings, two on each side, we're going to place them about a 120 millimeters apart. Or 10 millimeters just inside our bottom build. Alright, so now we're going to mix the two part epoxy and then put a dab on each one of these PLA bushings. and then apply our bottom build plate.
Alright, uh, while this is drying, we're gonna uh, attach the stepper motor here with uh, this gear. I already put in the M3 nut, the M3 screw, and then we're just gonna attach this to the motor. And then attach it to this with your M3 screw with a washer. Alright, so I ran into a little problem. As you can see, I uh, pre-cut holes right in the center of this bottom build area. And obviously this is not lining up. The belt's going to have to go right in the middle here. And with the washer, uh, it's as far left as I can get the motor because, as you can see right here, uh, that there's no room for the motor to go the right anymore so so I did some emergency surgery I've seen on other builds that they've tucked this nut out so what I did was I got out the Dremel and then cut that the nut in half and then just bent it off so hopefully let's see so hopefully once I tighten this all down, this should be tight enough to hold this motor. I did, as you can see, I cut into the the plastic a little bit right there. Hopefully that'll be fine. But then that, that way I'll be able to get this belt centered. Alright, now I'm going to uh, put on the belt. I've already got my one inch screws with a washer in each one of these. And then we're going to uh, put the belt through the two bearings and the motor gear and have it snug underneath here and tighten them up. Alright, if now, uh, if you do that correctly, the only way that this will move is if the motor moves with it. 